All right. Uh, talk, talk about the series as a whole and then uh, how, how good it felt to, to get that walk-off win. Well, this was a good series against Kennesaw State. Uh, challenged us. Yesterday in the doubleheader, we were very flat. Uh, I think, um, you know, I don't want to give any excuses. I just know we can play better. But, wow, what comebacks from Kennesaw State, you know, they, they did well. Uh, for us, it was a learning experience. I mean, Kirby was cruising through in her first game and then, you know, the three runs uh, in the last inning. And we weren't able to respond to that. But it was so good today to see us turn the corner. More of a team, more energy, more into it. And when that happens, good things happen. Um, talk, talk about uh, Amber and just obviously that, that history-making home run yesterday. And then just bringing that into today with the back to back homers. Yeah, I'm so excited we all are for Amber Bishop Riley because uh, for her to break – the all-time Liberty softball home run record was pretty exciting. I think she knew it, too. When she hit the home run yesterday, she came around and flashed 10, you know, flashed 10. But also uh, as impressive, if not even more, is she is the first Division I uh, softball player to have 10 home runs or more for five consecutive seasons. I mean, that is amazing. Uh, thank you to COVID, too, year, you know, helped with that. Um, but still, you know, as short as our season was last year, for her to be on a, a tear like that with 10 home runs um, or more was pretty exciting. I think it also relieved a little bit of pressure on herself probably because today <laughs> she comes back her first at bat and, and just easily pops it over the fence as well following her sister Autumn. So back-to-back -back home runs uh, for our two runs in the first inning was great. I was really excited too in the first inning that not only uh, did uh, the Twins – uh, get the ball rolling, but we were on base and took out the number one pitcher, Bennett, uh, in the first inning. And that's saying a lot because she's a really good pitcher and she's been having a really great season. So I'm proud of our offense. Um, when you come in after seeing someone throw that hard and the next pitcher is throwing, you know, I don't know, high 40s, low 50s, lots of change-ups, it's a big adjustment. And we didn't really adjust to that as well until um, to the very end where they had to bring Bennett back in. So uh, it's a game that's at least seven innings, um, unless run ruling, right, Joe? We'd have to take it four and a half or five based whether we're home or visitors. But really excited, uh, you know, to see where we were today, and hopefully we can keep it rolling. Um, when, uh, as you talked about that, that adjustment, and then uh, Devin Howard with a big double to start things in the seventh, uh, how, how how important was it to get that, that leadoff hit there? Seven. Well, so proud of Devin Howard. Uh, she played shortstop for us today, but even you know yesterday when she came in at third base, did a really good job offensively, setting the tone uh, for the NJCAA last year. She led in RBIs with the COVID year for that season, and so it was great to see her as a leadoff role today in the bottom of the seventh inning with a tie ball game to be able to rip the ball for a double was key. I mean, it was key to victory. And then we had Megan Hodum come in to run, giving a little more speed. And I knew Madison Vi with Bennett pitching, um, you know, she saw her a lot yesterday and she did the same thing. She hit the ball hard. And so it was great to have runners on second and third. Uh, and Macy Wallace came up with a valiant effort. And then Autumn comes up and just hits a deep ball to the warning track, sky high, looked like it could have been over the fence. Um, and so Hodum was able to, to get home without any contest. So it was a team effort, team effort today. Pitching wise, we went through three pitchers. And we had the other two ready to go as well. So that's what you have to do when you play good teams. And uh, Kennesaw State is a very good team. Uh, talk talk uh, briefly about the, the pitching and pitching and defense and what, what they were able to do to keep that at a 2-2 at a game for, for so long and give the offense a chance to, to get it done in the 7th. Well, right now with our pitching staff, because they are so young, um, we have to make sure offensively that we take and seize every opportunity we have to score as many runs as possible. I knew that in the first inning we had bases loaded, you know, with two outs. It would have been great to break it open even more. I think that helps when you have young pitching staff. The experience we have is Emily Kirby, our lefty pitcher, who started the game, and she did well yesterday. She did well as, um, also. But what we're finding is in today's game, um, the more that a batter sees a pitcher, the more it comes to the hitter's advantage. And that's why Bennett, you know, we were able to hit her well in the first inning when we saw her. So same with our pitchers. When you go through the lineup, you know, the second time, you got to see how they're hitting. And the third time, if you're a 300 hitter, it goes to your advantage, which is how they won um, the first game yesterday, you know, with Kirby, with their big hitters. Um, so 
I'm just really proud that it's it's a team effort, and a lot of the pitchers, they don't have that ego right now to realize, I'm going to do my job, and when we have to make a change, whether it's to change momentum, have a different look, or whether or not it's because um, we have another pitcher ready to, who's fresh, uh, they all are accepting their roles and doing the best they can, so I'm really proud of them. Uh, coming into this week, uh, UVA, and then another big home series against North Alabama. Just real quick, uh, what's the outlook for that? It's going to be great to play UVA. I know that they're even stronger this year, so we're going to go to their house and play them. Uh, it's going to be good for us. I think our team is very used to playing Power Fives, which uh, right now I'm trying to get them used to playing a Sun as well. So hopefully, you know, we're up for the Power Five and get to UVA um, playing with a lot of teamwork and success, and then we can get ready for North Alabama. They have a pitcher, uh, Gars, to – doesn't throw very hard, about 56 to 58, but a lot of rise balls. And uh, so that's going to be our focus. And uh, it's pretty hard. I mean, think about it when you're facing, oh, God, what has it been? Six, seven teams in the top, uh, you, know, you know, even 10, I'm going to say, or 17 in the country, uh, to then come and see slower pitching. So we've got to be able to adjust, and great hitters can, and we have some really good hitters. We'll get there.